Hey man, how's it going? What you up to? Well, you know, I'm just trying to... I have to do a research paper about this guy named Ernest Rutherford. I mean, Rutherford? What kind of name is Rutherford? Rutherford? Dude, that's like my hero. I know all about him. I can help, totally help you out with this. There you go. Tell me about it. No, you're right. I'm going to tell you. Do you okay. have a pencil on you? Uh, shoot. No. That would be a problem. <laughs> Crunch bar, that's about it. Crunch bar can't help too much with the research paper. You're going to need to take some notes. So time out. Alright, you got your pencil? Good. Yep. So, Rutherford, first off, he was born back 1871. Mm -hmm. That's a long time ago. August 30th to be exact. Anyways, back in his day, they weren't that smart with physics and whatnot. There's a lot of stuff that wasn't discovered, but thanks to him, he's the man. He discovered a whole bunch of stuff. They even named an element after him. There's Rutherfordium, Ruther, Ruther, something. Ruther, Ruther. Ruther. Should we look it up in the physics book? Let's do it. It's right here. <clears throat> Rutherfordium. So, anyways, we're going to start from the beginning. Of course, he was born and whatnot. And then he went to Cambridge. So, while he was at Cambridge, you know, he went and he invented something that detects electromagnetic waves. Wow. It's pretty intense. He made some like, co coil things, magnetic coils that had a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know how he did it, but it detected electromagnetic waves. Oh. In 1898, he reported the existence of alpha and beta particles. I'm sure you guys talked about that in your physics class, alpha and beta, beta particles, right? Yeah, sometimes. So he's the one that came up with that whole thing with alpha and beta. He reported the existence of those. Wow. Genius. After Cambridge, he went to Montreal. While he was there in Montreal, he was still working on his alpha beta particle thing. And he was also working with this one dude named R.B. Owens. R.B. Like Arby's? Did he start like Arby's? R and B. Oh. R B. Oh. Yeah, it's like initials. Because it's cool like that, you know. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Arl Stein, J.K. Rowling. I should probably change my name to initials too. Yeah, it'd be cool. T.W. Williams. Well, him and R.B. Owens, they were studying things together. And they actually discovered a new noble gas. It's actually an isotope of radon, which is now called thorium. Thorium? Thorium. So after Montreal, he went to Manchester. Ooh. Do you know where that's at? It's in England. I'm Manchester sure United's a good. I love that football team. Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool. soccer team. Something. It's called football in other countries. Here it's called soccer. Right. Anyways, in Manchester, that's where he kept doing studies and whatnot about these alpha and beta beta particles. But he also postulated this theory about nucleus. Before, there's no such thing as a nucleus. Nobody had any idea whatsoever. Really? That yeah. was a long time ago. So he's the one that postulated the nucleus, the theory of that. And because of him, we all know now that there's a nucleus. And that's like the greatest single physics discovery that he ever made. The wow. nucleus. That's amazing. It's changed lives. Changed my life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's basically all his major accomplishments. Of course, he had other things like he was knighted back in 1914, a long time ago. So, he's a knight. He's Lord Ernest Rutherford. Wow. Not only that, but he was also named First Baron. Wow. First Baron Rutherford. He's a uh, baron. I think in that's In New Zealand and Cambridge. Wow. You know, you know on Facebook, mm -hmm. I'm actually a baron. Are you? On a, the program I want, so I'm like Brother Ford, Dang. right? Because I'm a baron, he's a baron. I'm a knight. Oh, right on. So you're higher up than me. It's true. But still, this dude's intense. He's for real. We're just doing some game. <laughs> wow. Anyways, Rutherford is a pretty amazing guy. That's why he's my hero. All those things I've been telling you about. He yeah. liked golf. Wow. They had golf back then. They did. That's been around for a long time. Did he invent golf? I don't think he did. I'm sure some person from Scotland did. I know Robin Williams is this whole story about it. <laughs> yeah. So, Rutherford was amazing. He also got the Nobel Prize back in 1908 in chemistry. Ooh. Not physics, chemistry. Pretty intriguing, I thought it was. So, 
that's basically his life. He ended up dying um, in 1937. Wow. And his ashes, believe it or not, they're buried just west of Sir Isaac Newton's ashes. You serious? I'm dead serious. Wow. So now I'm sure you have more than enough to write your paper, it's right? true. I can get like an A on this paper. You better get an A. Yeah. I love this guy now. He's like my hero. He's my hero. Awesome. Thank you, Troy. No problem. Good luck with that paper, man. Thank you. Thank you. Can you give me an honor, Pop? <laughs>